Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, DeepSeek has launched their version 3.2 model officially. Previously, they released version 3.2 experimental. It was the preview model. And here you see that this is the timeline on 29 September of 2025. They released version 3.2 experimental. But today, 1st December 2025, they have released version 3.2 model. Now it is not an preview model, not an experimental. It is the officially available version 3.2 model from DeepSeek and it is available through their chat platform deepseek.com and also it is available through the API and in mobile app. So here you see that I have just tried this model and the output is really amazing. And also this is a free and open source model. And another thing is that they have released a special version which is the version 3.2 specially. Here you see this is another model and this model is giving the same kind of performance like the Gemini 3 Pro. Here you see that they have just compared their new model which is the version 3.2 specially with the Gemini 3 Pro and here you see that uh, in many cases it is giving the same kind of performance like the Gemini 3 Pro and also this special model is a open source model here you see and uh, if you see another thing which is the version 3.2 and this is the 3.2 specially you will ask me that what is the difference here you see that this is the difference that they have written let me show you version 3.2 performs comparably to the GPT-5 means version 3.2 is giving the same kind of performance like the GPT-5 and their high compute variant DeepSeek version 3.2 specially suppress GPT-5 and exhibits reasoning proficiency on pair with the Gemini 3 Pro means uh, this version 3.2 model uh, is beating the GPT-5 but if you want to get the same performance like the Gemini 3 Pro, then you have to use this specially. This is the difference between the 3.2 and the 3.2 specially. Okay. And also the achievement that they have uh, shared gold medal performance in the 2025 International Mathematical Olympiad and International Olympiad in Informatics. They have uh, got the gold medal for this model. And uh, here you see. Uh, let me show you another thing which is the this one I have compared the same prompt uh, for the coding purpose with the Gemini 3 Pro 3.0 Pro and also this DeepSeek new model and I have got amazing output from the DeepSeek version 3.2 Here you see I gave the same prompt uh, to this model and the prompt was let me show you I have tried it on their platform chat.deepseek.com okay so i have just uh, i have to go top this is the prompt design a travel booking website ui that users uh, that allow users to search for the flight hotel and car rental and on the right hand side here you see that i have got this output and this is the code on the left hand side okay proper maintaining uh, code and when i just uh, I just uh, placed this code inside this HTML file and open it inside browser here you see this is the output and the amazing thing here you see that when I am changing this flight hotel and car rental the options are also getting changed okay and also uh, when I have selected this car here you see that the only the cars are available here and also the pricing and also here you see that there is a car symbol the car icon okay small car icon and now when I'm changing to hotel, here you see that only hotels are coming and hotel icon is visible here. And also when I'm changing to flight, the options are also changing. And also here you see that the flight icon is here and also the imaging uh, this uh, images. Now, if you compare this output with the Gemini 3 Pro, I have tried it uh, the same prompt on the left hand side, you see same prompt inside the AI studio using Gemini 3 Pro and here you see this is the output if i make it full screen here you see there is no footer there is no proper footer there is no options that are available and uh, so here you see that when i am changing it to flight to stays means hotel or this car rental options are not getting changed okay what is this right so 
it is clearly visible that DeepC version 3.2 has done a great job because previously when I tried this model during the experimental phase or DeepC version 3.1, at that time I did not get the amazing, I did not get that kind of output from this DeepC model. Okay, but now the model that they have released, it is really amazing and you should definitely try this model. Okay, you should definitely try this model because it has really great UI sense. Okay, the output here you see the margin padding and also the hover effect and all of the things that it has kept in, his, in their mind. It is really amazing. Okay, you should definitely try this model for coding purpose. I am highly recommending this model. Please give it a try. And also I think this filter option is working. Yes, filter is also working according to the price, right? So this is the coding part and for reasoning part also, uh, you will definitely get the uh, great answer from this model. So just go to this chat.dipsy.com and uh, here you can uh, choose this deep think also and you can enable the thinking mode inside this and uh, for the reasoning purpose you please definitely try this because there is nothing to test for the reasoning you will get uh, the same answer from each and every model just uh, there will be the, some timing difference and another thing is that um, how to use it through api so if i take you to the document here you see uh, what is that document yes this is the api document the base URL is this api.deepseek.com. This is the base URL. And for the API key, I have given this API key link also in description. You can go there and make an account and use that API key. And uh, this is the two model. One is the Deepseek chat and another one is the Deepseek reasoner. Okay, so you can use this Deepseek chat for the coding purpose. And uh, this is the model that you have to write. And uh, if you are using through client, then you can go to this client and open the settings. I hope there will be a deep seek provider. And let me search here deep seek. Yes, deep seek provider is there. And deep seek chat model is also there. Select this deep seek chat. You just have to give the API key, deep seek API key. Now you are good to go to use this model. Okay. So this is the thing. And the great thing is that they have just made all of, the, all of these things as open source and uh, another thing is that uh, another thing is that that i wanted to share with you guys uh, okay 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 this one this one that i wanted to share with you so this is the chart okay so this is the benchmark here you see that dfc version 3.2 specially and gemini 3.0 pro is here on this benchmark, Gemini 3 is scoring 95 and specially model is scoring 96. And here you see that there is a great difference between this model. Although they have made this specially model as the open source. Now, another thing uh, is that uh, this specially model is available through API only. Uh, this is a temporary endpoint, the base UL that they have shared. Here you see, served via temporary endpoint. This is the temporary endpoints that you can try and the pricing is same like the version 3.2 and there is no tool call for this uh, model because this is a reasoning model and it is available until december 15 because they have some different uh, plan on for this model but they just want to gather some feedback from the community so that's why they have kept it available until december 15 and after that they will do some kind of different things with this model. Maybe they will release Dipsig R2 based on this model feedback from the people. Okay. But uh, this is a thing. And uh, and API pricing, I think uh, I have already discussed. Uh, the pricing will remain same like the previous. Okay. So yes this is the pricing here you see very very less pricing that, that they are taking uh, for the 1 million input token uh, the cash is 0 0.28 dollar and the output token 0 0.42 dollar and the model is really good for the long context also because it has huge really long context here you see long context reasonable cost and agent flexibility yes it has the agentic uh, flexibility so 
uh, 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 yes reasoning first model built for agents okay and also if you go to their uh, official website here you see they have written that this model has a tool calling ability what is that i have just opened it uh, yes this one here you see that uh, this model has a tool calling ability json output and also chat prefix completion if i am completion many things you will get okay so if, if you are building any product right now you should definitely go with this dipc version 3.2 model why because it has the less pricing long context and also it has a great memory okay so you, you should definitely try this so please try this model and let me know your thought your experience in the comment section and uh, if you want to get this type of videos more daily don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care